Sabina Martins. Uh, she works against the drug mafia that operates in Goa. And Sabina, we just heard from the Director General of Police, uh, Jashpal Singh. He seems to suggest that this is uh, not really a problem in Goa, that it's a very small consumption uh, side problem, uh, that it's not really a big player in the drug network in India and globally. You're on the ground. Do you buy that or do you think the local authorities are just trying to play the drug nexus down? No, the drug issue is being underplayed in Goa. It is a very big issue. Uh, tourists come, enjoy, and uh, the environment that is created over here that you can have drugs, you can uh, gamble, you can, uh, do, uh, you can drink, and so many other activities. And uh, this is the environment which is there, and lots of crimes are happening. And the impact is more on the local population. The local population, the families are in pain, distress because of this medicine of uh, drugs. And uh, as a women's organization, we have lots of cases of women coming to us. Now, so apparently, it looks as it is, it is a case of domestic violence. So when they come to us, and then we realize that the uh, Person, the husband is addicted, uh, is a drug addict. Then we have uh, the uh, women who are selling uh, tea and uh, on the uh, roadside. They see a lot of uh, activities happening on the beach. Now they are threatened by these um, people who are peddling drugs. So they come to us with their issues. Uh, we had a, a person from the shack. Who, the widow had come because she had some issues and we realized that her husband died because of uh, this issue of drugs. We had a case of minor who uh, was induced into drugs and she came from a poor family and to um, keep her into uh, the addiction they introduced her to sexual activity. The mother complained but the police did not register a complaint. And we had gone right up to the DGP, not the presence of the DGP, the former DGP, but no action was taken. So there are many, many cases uh, which are drug related, but everything is downplayed. And that's why right from quality time till today, nothing has changed on the ground. Fiona, as you hear this, uh, do you accept what the Director General of Police in Goa just said, that this is just a consumption side problem, it's not really uh, a big player on the, uh, on the drug network in India and globally, or do you think he's just trying to underplay the drug problem in Goa? I think that's rubbish. I think that's rubbish. I think they, they've always tried to play it down because if, if they don't and they actually accept and face what's going on, then they've got to take responsibility and do something, and they haven't, you know. There's many cases, uh, you know, there, I might have had, somebody might have been convicted in our case, in Scarlett's case, but I don't know if that man is innocent or not. I still believe the Home Minister's son back then, Roy Knight, had something to do with it. And there are the other cases. What about, you know, Felix Dahl and Dalian McLaughlin and Denise Sweeney? All of those tourists have been murdered in Goa and have had no justice yet. They've all been promised fast-track courts, but that's all words, you know. Actions speak louder than words. So what the DGP has got to say, I don't accept. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Dr. Sabina, the fact that Curly's will now be acted against its license taken away, do you think that's a start or do you think it's A, too little, too late and B, given the connections of the owners of, uh, of uh, Curly's, that they could potentially uh, get their license back in just a few weeks or months from now and then we could be back to square one? Dr. Sabina. Taking place uh, because of addiction, they drive very fast. A woman had come to us because her husband died and she told us a road accident that he was on drugs and because the vehicle was in her name she was also kind of dragged into that whole accident so accidents are taking place unnatural deaths are taking place so the domestic violence is taking place we have students uh, who have been caught in, in this uh, there were uh, there were incidents where the uh, security of one um, uh, in a big institution uh, was supplying drugs. We have cases in the 
uh, jail where uh, drugs are being supplied. So this is uh, no small matter. And because we don't look at this issue seriously, that's why uh, action is not forthcoming. You go to the northern belt, you sit in a restaurant, you can actually get the smell of drugs. Okay, so the police know if a lay person can identify uh, what is there in the air. I'm sure the police are trained. We have a narcotic uh, cell which is dedicated to, uh, you know, nabbing uh, drug peddlers. They are uh, uh, catching, but I don't think they are going for the uh, persons who are the uh, who are bringing in large scale drugs. These are these okay. small people uh, who get. Arrested. What we've highlighted is very significant and I hope that more action is taken. Just acting against Kali's isn't enough. You need to go higher up the drug value chain and take action against those who run the syndicate. And I don't believe for a fact that this is just a consumption side problem. Uh, there is plentiful availability of drugs in Goa at a large scale and that needs to be acted against. For the time being, Fiona McEwen.